Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Whovians, no matter your species or planet of origin, it doesn't matter where you come through throughout time and space, boys and girls, Whovian fans are a great group of folks. It's a wonderful, passionate fan base out there that absolutely loves so much about the universe, so much about the lore, and is just so invested in it. Even myself, even as a current with the current state of Disney Doctor Who and where it's at in its current era, we still do a Sunday night show every seven, at 7 p.m. where we go through and we rewatch. When Who Was Good, we go back and watch good Who episodes along with all of you guys out there, and then we review them for you, and it's a really good time. So if you like a lot of the David Tennant era and a lot of that kind of stuff from back in that kind of time period of Doctor Who, definitely come check us out because we're having a really good time over there. But boys and girls, the real question is about the future of Doctor Who and Disney's iteration of Doctor Who is currently in question and yes you want to argue with me that it's not Disney Doctor Who go to the IMDB page out there and look at the fact that they are under two different series pages now boys and girls it absolutely is Doctor Who it is Disney Doctor Who they've invested well over a hundred million dollars just in the first season of the new series out there and it is well if you end up watching my video over the numbers whether or not you like this series or not based strictly on the math this show is an absolute abysmal failure so it should not come as a surprise to anybody out there that there's insiders coming out now and talking to a lot of the mainstream trade magazines out there saying that the future of Disney Doctor Who is very much in question because the House of Mouse surprisingly enough in this day and era actually wants results and simply boys and girls that is not happening from Disney Doctor Who because we've got this lovely little article over here from Deadline which has chocked full of so information this is probably an article you saw or this is an article you saw if you watched my last video going over just the numbers and whether or not Doctor Who has actually been a profitable success for the Walt Disney Company after their massive investment or not trust me there's even more information on this article so much that we had to separate this into at least two videos boys and girls so we're going to check this article from Deadline getting all of the juicy details because Doctor Who's regeneration has the Disney gamble paid off well boys and girls the math simply does not hunt as far as that kind of stuff and it has a lot of people inside the walt disney company questioning the future of doctor who so we're going to check out this article from Deadline, getting all the juicy details of exactly what the insiders are saying about the future of Doctor Who. But before we do, if you do enjoy our content, hit that like button, share with all your friends, and subscribe and or follow if you have not already, because we have finally crossed 800 on both Rumble and the new YouTube channel, and I could not do that without every single one of you. And if you do have an interesting take on this, do you believe the insiders, or do you think Disney will continue going forward with Doctor Who, no matter what, is just another vehicle for their agenda, or do you think they're going to scrap this whole thing send it back to bbc and be like look we're done we ain't got the money to spend on this kind of nonsense anymore well, let us know what you think about that in the comments section down below. So this is where a lot of the speculation kind of comes from. This is kind of what inspired, I think, to write the Deadline article. So those lucky enough to attend Mays Disney's Upfront at the North Javada Center were treated to clips, teasers, and appearances in some of the world's biggest stars. Now, those of you who watched my last article, you know we went over all of this. But this is the kind of interesting point. But almost completely absent from the Upfront festivities was Doctor Who. The iconic British sci-fi series that Disney Plus now co-produces with the BBC following what was undoubtedly one of the biggest global TV show deals of the past decade. Doctor Who was handed a minor bit of real estate as the North Java Center, but it lacked a front and center placement. May spin a yarn about the series position and the Disney's priority log nearly three years from the deal being struck. So they go through like a little bit of the history of how things had gone and things like that kind of stuff. So... Following the conclusion of the first Disney BBC Doctor Who season several weeks ago, Deadline has taken opportunity to analyze its performance both locally and across the pond, its critical reception, and just what the future has in store for the deal. Noises that it may not last beyond its initial two seasons are already reverberating around international TV circles. Now, if you guys weren't aware, that's how the deal was struck initially with between the BBC and the Walt Disney Company and Bad Wolf Productions with Russell T. Davies and all that kind of stuff. You know Russell T. Davies, that guy, when we heard he was attached to new Neo Doctor Who, we were actually kind of excited and we were really a lot hopeful for that kind of stuff. Boy, yeah, how did that pan out for us, boys and girls? But either way, 
that was part of the contract deal. So people are going out there saying, well, season two is not going to premiere. Da, da, da. Trust me, they're going to launch it. They're going to set it out there no matter what because they've already paid for it, right? And it's just more content, which is that's all Disney ever thinks about is in, con- in context of content for their streaming service. So it's just something else for people to watch. It's just something else for their ad to their numbers out there. So at the end of the day, it's one of those things that that's where they end up looking at this kind of stuff and that's how they're doing it. So it's already paid for. The second season was already bought and paid for. It just got done filming, wrapping not too long ago. And the really quite interesting thing about all of this is the words that we've heard from people involved of the production about what they believe the future of Disney Doctor Who might end up being. So deadline is taking. So yeah, when all that. So all the noise. And one source close to production tells us that they feel its future hangs in the balance already. Disney, the BBC, and co-producers BBC Studios and Bad Wolf all declined Deadline's interview requests for this article. Now, that is curious in and of itself. If it's truly a show that's doing really, really well and it's a success, then why isn't that? Why aren't they coming out there trying to promote it? Why aren't they willing to go, no, 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 it's not that bad. It's not as bad as what people think. Well, for one, it hasn't charted a single time in the U.S. on the Samba TV numbers or the Nielsen ratings, even for its premieres and stuff like that. That is not a good sign of the future of a, for the Doctor Who at an American company, boys and girls. So they go on to talk about all of that kind of stuff. Dr. Who being a cultural phenomenon. Russell T. Davies coming back in 2005. All of that kind of stuff going on. Then we talk about the budget. This is one of the things that we talked about in the last movie. This is one of the reasons why I think the decision might be leaning towards what these rumors are saying right here. Because this thing cost them $13 million per episode and they have produced at least so far well the ones that have been already put out there is 11 episodes we're talking over 130 million dollars they have spent on just the first season and the three specials for this show well once again why 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 would people be talking about this show being canceled if they spent that much money on it has the show been a success well according to the ratings no it absolutely has not been whatsoever it's been an absolute miserable failure over time and time again and this is something interesting that points out as well. Editorial, Disney may also have a play, role to play here. So they talk about the money and all that kind of stuff that they spend on here, and it just doesn't look like the kind of show that you spent a lot of that money on in any way, shape, or form. It just doesn't seem like it every single episode you go into. It doesn't seem like they spent $13 million per episode. So when it comes to ratings, a complex picture has developed. That's what they try saying. It's a pretty clear picture for anyone who's not snorting the pixie dust out there, who is not an acolyte for the cold, or someone whose lifeblood depends on being act on their access to early media i.e. access media. The first episode from May launched with a disappointing 2.6 million overnight viewers, well behind the opener with the previous Doctor, Jodie Whittaker, and also shipping 2 million from the Tenet starring specials. They literally lost 2 million viewers just from the Tenet starring specials to when Nakuti Gatwa completely and totally took over. Shooty Gatwa, whatever. Nakuti, tell him to spell it differently. I don't care. The guy's... Anyway... He's a tech Doctor Who fan, so I don't really have a problem screwing up his name. So any one of the situations why oh, it's a lot of the spin, it's been a lot of spin around the ratings, right? They're not wanting to spook the investors. They're not wanting to tell this stuff out there because if they admit that this is a failure, well, boys and girls, there's no, uh, there's no way, shape, or form that anybody can deny that as long, even if the company has to come out and admit that. But that's one of the things it's going on. So all eyes are now on the upcoming season, which is in the can and due to launch next year, along with a long-rumored set of spinoffs to compromise the new Hooniverse, including the war between the land and sea. Fans were delighted when the spinoff was alluded to in the 73 Yards episode. Deadline is told that the shooting will commence in September. Now, one of the sources close to the production believes Disney will need to make a decision on its future relationship with the show after the war between the land and the sea wraps, i.e. this fall. So we could have potential seen an official announcement this fall, once all of that wraps up productions, that'll give them an excuse, that'll get them through the summer, that'll give them an excuse to contemplate all this kind of stuff, have conversations, talk about new directions, or potentially talk about canceling things and just going, oh, we're done with this, it's just not worth our money anymore, because guess what? Disney's broke! They can't keep blowing hundreds of millions of dollars on TV shows that continue to fall flat over and over again! And I'm sorry, but losing millions of people in your audience, whether you like the show or not, is an abysmal failure. Me personally, considering all the woke nonsense and all the cultural appropriation BS that they shoved inside of this show, and literally trying to beat you over the head with the message in the very first special. It literally caused me to have to drink during the middle of the episode. It was that bad. Okay, that's why we do Who Good Who on Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Come join us for that. So, 
in demand of God will, in, uh, will lead a West End production, yada, yada, yada. Whether or not he will remain the doctor. Although the next season has wrapped, this source predicts the final episode has been left open-ended, with the possibility remaining that Gatwa could regenerate into his successor if he chooses to exit. Gatwa's agents hadn't responded to Deadline's request for comment by press time. Of course not. And that's one of the things we've heard about. This has been something that has been a question that has been dodged time and time again, not only by Nakuti Gatwa, our dear sweet shooty, but also by his agents and everybody else involved with this. It's been a very question that they have dodged almost non-stop. I mean, can you imagine this would be, this would be, I mean, it sucked that we only got Eccleston for one season and I understand what happened behind the scenes and everything else, but man, to get stuck with Shooty for two seasons? Uh, 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 just, never mind. I went off on a tangent for no reason whatsoever. Sources are split on the extent to which Disney pulling out will harm the show's future. While it would have no doubt be embarrassing to doc- Doctor Who's mega budget increase is perhaps less than noticeable on screen than first thought. And I mean, that's literally, it would be no doubt embarrassing, especially considering the fact that they've already spent at least $130 million on the show. But if they're doing a second season, it sounds like they've spent hundreds of millions of dollars on the show, well over the $200 million mark. And they're not even done with everything yet, boys and girls. This is a seriously massive loss on an investment. This is absolutely pathetic. So, Doctor Who's major budget increase is perhaps less notable on screen than first thought, one source says, posturing that the Disney tent poles like the Mandalorian look far more expensive on screen. But another source says it will be a disaster if Disney parts ways. Well, yeah, because they don't want the PR, they don't want the PR bad press, because guess what? They have used Doctor Who as an as a nothing more than a vehicle for their message. Literally go back and watch that David Tennant special. Not only do they disrespect and downplay Doctor Di- David Tennant's doctor, they literally insult him and said, Well, you could understand if you were still a woman. Ha ha ha. It's literally just trans nonsense over and over again. You see Doc David Tennant's own doctor get educated on pronouns and all this non-binary and all this other BS. It's literally disgusting. Nothing more than an advocate, an absolute pusher of the agenda. And they even said it was meant for children. So literally Disney's evil is using Doctor Who as a vehicle to expose kids to the worst things possible, the things that confuse and destroy a child's mind more than anything else we've seen in generations And they wonder why it's not resonating very well with the fans. Hmm. Once again, the Walt Disney Company has spent hundreds of millions of dollars pushing an agenda. Everything Disney touches turns to dust. So given that Disney has spent all of this money, the question becomes what the BBC will do if they pull out. For Doctor Who's Mad Quinn, the latest season could have done with sprinkling more, yada, 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 answers, preds. This person thinks it will grow, but most people do not think it's going to grow. And guess what? The numbers don't lie. At the end of the day, this show, every single episode with the exception of one, and that was an episode that was completely absent, Shooty Got was Doctor. It was all about Ruby, all about her. All about her. And that was the most watched episode of the entire season. Boys and girls, Doctor Who fans are rejecting Disney Doctor Who. The future of Disney Doctor Who is very much in question. Inside sources, they say themselves that the show is intentionally being left open so that way they can regenerate or continue on going forward with this kind of stuff. Disney internally knows that they have spent hundreds of millions of dollars on this show and it has turned into an absolute abysmal failure. It will be a miracle, an absolute miracle, or one of the dumbest decisions that the Walt Disney Company has ever made to renew this, to continue on in this direction and continue to dump hundreds of millions of dollars into what they have turned into an absolute failed property. It is worse than the Chris Chibnall era, boys and girls. We thought the erasure and deconstruction of all of the Doctor Who lore during that era was bad. But no, even then, fans stuck around, boys and girls. But once Disney touches it, once the agenda comes full bore and not just a few sleight of hand comments right there, it becomes too much for everyone. The Disney Doctor Who has been an absolute abysmal failure. It is hundreds of millions of dollars down the drain only to lose millions of audience members. They have failed. The real question is, is Disney still stupid 
and willing to burn hundreds of millions of dollars on pushing an agenda in a show that doesn't even chart on Nielsen or Samba's TV ratings? Or are they going to be smart, wash their hands of the whole situation, and go, bye-bye, BBC, have at it. Either way, Disney Doctor Who's future is grim, and there very well may come a time that we will be able to finally tell you, confirm it, and make it official that Disney Doctor Who is canceled. But as of right now, everything's pointing to that being the most likely outcome of the disastrous dumpster fire that is all things Disney Doctor Who.